Hey everyone, it's Mojax here for BeatSource. Serato have just released Serato DJ Pro 2.5 and Serato DJ Lite version 1.5. Those bring with them a bunch of bug fixes and also this time a load of new features and improvements, including official Serato accessory support for Phase, support for the Reloop Ready controller, and support for Mac OS Big Sur, and the new M1 chips from Apple as found in all their latest computers. That's really interesting to see. I did not expect to see it so soon. So kudos to Serato for getting that done. But of course, from a BeatSource perspective, we are most excited about the ability now to use the BeatSource offline locker inside your Serato software. So as has always been the case since the introduction of Link into Serato, you can of course analyze your files ahead of time by dragging them to the analysis button with whatever preferences you've normally got set. And then that metadata, the beat grid, the cue points that you save, any loops that you save, will all be saved to your computer. So next time you load up that track on your computer it will be faster to load and all of your own personal stuff will be attached to those files that's great of course but what if you're going to do a performance where you know you're not going to have an internet connection or perhaps you're a bit concerned about whether the connection might be spotty or something like that well now you've got the beat source locker now depending on which plan you have you have up to a hundred tracks to be able to store in there ready to use out with no internet connection it's as simple as this really you just basically select your tracks and then you drag them to the beat source locker and then we go in there we can see these arrows here on the left they will gradually fill up as the tracks download to the drive and then they will be ready to use now i'm going to add in from a couple of different crates here so let's go into my dj city records crate as well because i want to show you how this works with crates and playlists so as you can see all those arrows are filling up go to beat source locker and they're all downloading and once that's done then these will be available offline so now i'm going to disconnect my internet connection from this machine so I've now removed my internet connection now of course beat source there is still available I've got it selected inside the software but all of the other tracks which I haven't downloaded are no longer available to me they're grayed out because I just don't have access to the internet right now but the ones in my locker they are still there so i can load up anything i want from there and we've got my beat grid and cue point data is all saved and the track itself is saved. so i've got no internet connection right now whatsoever and one other aspect of this which is worth pointing out is that you don't have to be inside the beat source locker then to access these tracks you can actually go through to the playlist themselves and those tracks are still there so you're not losing your sorting you know if you've got a bunch of stuff in different crates you've still got those crates as they were if you were online so there you go if you have serato dj pro or serato dj Lite, make sure you download this new update right away and if you're interested in finding out more about beat source link or if you'd like to try the service for free for 30 days head over to beatsource.com now thanks for watching <laughs>